Hi. Hi. It's Karen and Alex with Karen's Stamping Place. Thank you for joining us. How are you all this evening? We are doing well. I got an itch. <laughs> My mom always told me if you have an itch on your nose, you're going to kiss a fool. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's on his way home. <laughs> Awesome. I know <laughs> I had to say that um, so how are you all doing we are fantastic um, we've had a great day we've been mm -hmm. playing and just enjoying all of our product and um, it's just been great <laughs> yeah so um I would like to chat just for a second. We'll give it just one minute. Hi, sis. And then we'll go ahead and get going on these projects. I have two for you tonight. I'm really excited. Um, I've got a fly now. Hi. You never, ever see <laughs> it went to Alex. <laughs> I don't want it. I know. <laughs> don't send it back. A few minutes ago, I thought I saw a mosquito, so I was clapping my hands at it. And, oh, man. Bugs. Well, um, I hope everybody is doing fantastic out there. I know there's a debate on tonight um, for vice president, and I would love to watch it. But first, I just want to get these beautiful cards out just so you guys can see them I just think they're so much fun and they're fun folds and I just love fun folds hi Miss Susie hi I hope you guys enjoy fun folds too um, I think you're gonna like them I'm gonna have Alex turn you down so that I can show you the paper I chose to use so this is one of the six by six papers in the holiday catalog. It's called Tis the Season. Mm -hmm. And it's also right now on sale for $9.78. All the Stampin' Up's designer series paper is um, 15, no, there are a selection of designer series paper right now that are 15% off and this is one of them. Want me to zoom in? And I just, let me hold it up a little higher. There's so many to choose from to use. Look at these trees. And then the Ooh, those holly. Are cute. And then this solid holly. And then the candy canes and the fly <laughs> and the plaid. Oh my goodness, there's so many. I, I like just love it. I like this one a lot. Yeah, so when I saw this paper, and then I saw it was on sale, because I hadn't gotten it before, I just knew what I was going to do with it. Mm -hmm. So, I purchased this stamp set earlier with the holiday catalog. And it, I have to say, for sentiments, this is my most favorite, because it has two of my favorite movies. Okay, so I love Elf. Elf, oh my goodness, I just love it. I have to watch it like 10 times every year, I'm crazy. But the best way to spread Christmas cheer is to sing loud for all to hear. Oh, that's just the most fun. And then, oh my goodness, I had A Wonderful Life. Yes. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Oh. Yeah, that's I mean, a classic. That's just, yeah, it is. It's classic. And then there's maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. And that's from the Grinch. Okay. Where does this one come from, Alex? I believe. It's silly, but I believe. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Either. Anybody knows, let us know. I don't know. Um, but these are fun. Fun and big and bold, so you can oh. put them. Oh, I know. Where did it come from? It's a Wonderful Life. Um, no, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Oh, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. I just, you know, classic sayings, and they're big, and I just, I love them. So, then I used 
the Merry Christmas because I wanted something big in one of my cards. And I used the Merry Christmas from the Tag Buffet set. Again, love this set. Think it's amazing. Not as much as I love my other set though. <laughs> and then I used these dies from, uh, it's, it's towards the back in the fall stuff, but these layering um, celebration labels dies, oh, they're so great to use on your projects, especially if you have big, bold sentiments. Okay, so we're gonna get on the first one, okay? Let me show you what it's gonna look like. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. And then you're going to have this open this way. Mm -hmm. Really cool, don't you think? Okay, yeah. let me show you how to make that card real quick. And they have to let us know which is their favorite um, sentiment out of the... Oh yeah, I would love to hear that. Christmas Please. means more. Okay, so for this card, we're going to score it at two inches and seven and a half inches. And your card base is cut at four and a fourth by um, 11. And I know Alex has these measurements for you. Yes, the measurements are in the description box below. Okay, and then so what I did is just cut each piece with a quarter of an inch layer. So your top piece is three, Three and a half, I believe. Oh, I have a ruler. So your top piece, oh, three and a quarter by four inches. Three and a quarter by four inches, okay? And then this one, actually, we're just gonna go ahead and tape down. Really simple, easy peasy. Nothing, nothing fancy, okay? have that taped down. Then your next piece, ooh, I gotta look cricket. I don't like cricket. <laughs> okay, your next piece is going to be cut at four inches by one and three fourths. Okay. And I love the patterns on the paper. Well, I know, they're both candy canes, but one is like red mm -hmm. and and, or cherry cobbler, I should say, and just really cute. And then the other one is the green. Again, really cute. And I just laid those down. Okay, so for this one, I'm using, I forgot it, hmm. shaded spruce. Oh, okay. Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No, I think that's all I forgot. Okay. I always have to forget something, right? One of these days in my dream craft room, not that I don't love my craft room, but I have all my inks in front of me. Oh, all yeah. my everything. That would be nice. I don't have to worry about, oh, I forgot <laughs> that because it's just right there. Right. Okay. So I use the second to the smallest layer to cut this label out, okay? And then I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a stamp. And these have a really nice stitching detail. Oh, they do. All along the um, can you see it? edge. There, you can see the stitch. Oh yeah. Okay, then I added a little holly, and this is from the same stamp set. I just, oh, I have a smudge. Bling. Oh, you may not see that though, but we'll bling it up. Then I Eraser. took, oh, okay. Then I took the real red, um, I forgot about that. Um, and I should have grabbed cherry cobbler. I don't know what I was thinking, but I, oh, it's okay, Alex. I grabbed real red. Woo, <laughs> my <laughs> lid went flying. <laughs> And um, just colored in those holly a little bit. Okay, so Alex brought, bought me this eraser. 
It's like um, a sand eraser and it pretty well takes off most of the ink mess I made. It's awesome. Thank you. It's supposed Thank to you, Susie. I like it. Okay, it did. It helped a little, but it doesn't help that. No. <laughs> that was a twitch. <laughs> it depends on like how bad the smudge is. Sometimes I just with. get a twitch in my arm. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tie just a ribbon or a, I should say a bow. Thank you, Alex. That's Out making of the... me nervous. <laughs> Real red braided twine. And I used this earlier today, and I just, I love how it makes a stiff, nice bow. It holds the bow shape really well. It really does. It's almost like it's waxy, but I know it's not. Okay. And I just made it little bitty. Doesn't have to be huge or anything. Mm -mm. Just enough to put up under here. Hide my smudge <laughs> on my holly. <laughs> And then what we're gonna do is we're going to adhere it just to one side. So I'm gonna take and put a lot of dimensionals on the one top side here. She puts a lot of dimensionals on. I do. Does anyone else like putting a lot of dimensionals on? It keeps your paper from sagging in. It does, it truly does. Yeah, I probably didn't need all six, but I wanted to use all six. Yes, I have a problem with dimensionals, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that right there. And I'm almost done with this card, but I wanted to do something to the inside. So I grabbed the I Believe. I love how this stamp set is from a lot of the classic Christmas Movies. music yeah. movies. Because there really is something in that stamp set from for everyone. Yeah. Really good. Good. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that. And just give it a minute for the ink to absorb. This is a juicy stamp, so I don't want to make a mess. I'm going to lift it off slowly. Woo, that's beautiful. I believe. Mom's glad you got it. <laughs> I stuck Aww, it in my purse last you. night, so I, I would remember to bring it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Obviously, I didn't need it till today. Okay, okay so I'm going to clean that one off. These should get cleaned off, too. But I'll leave them for Alex. Oh, but I, I think I want that holly. What I'm going to do is go back in on the inside, and I'm going to do a corner of holly. What's your favorite quote, Mom, from the Christmas means more? Ooh, it has to be the elf quote. I don't know. I also like the one from um, It's a Wonderful Life. I mean, we every have to see rings. that movie every year. Who can live without it, you know? I know, that is such a classic Christmas movie. I'm a movie buff, and my husband gets so mad at me. He's so funny. Um, because I could watch Christmas movies all year long, and I have been known to. But um, the past couple of years, he's been like, there will be no Christmas movies in this house till after Thanksgiving. <laughs> I just laugh at him. Whatever. Whatever. Look, he doesn't know won't hurt him. No, I don't care if he knows or doesn't know. I love <laughs> my Christmas. And Christmas Hallmark movies? Oh. <sighs> they released the um the list. Oh, did they? The yeah. new ones? Yeah, the Pioneer Woman. Um she put a blog post down. Oh, on it. okay. I didn't see that. Hmm. Okay, so that's inside. So there you have your fun fold. I want to give you another tip if you're interested. You could absolutely glue these two sides down and turn this into a gift card holder. Ooh. Oh, that's a cute idea. Right? Mm -hmm. So just a suggestion, you know, on this card if you like. But I love it. I think it's so cute. Okay. 
on to our next fun fold. All right. It's not time yet. All right, wait till you guys see this card. It's so cute. Okay, so it's got a little jingle bell because every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wing. Now look at this one. Um, I'm trying to hold it the best way you guys can see it. Oh, isn't that just fun? It's adorable. I love fun folds. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one, I'm going to have to do the scoring for it. Let me get this old Arco card away. Um, but, first of all, you need two pieces cut at five and a half by four and a fourth. Okay? Then, you're going to cut your layer at five and a fourth by four inches. And I don't know what size this strip is. It was just a scrap that fit perfectly. An inch by four inches and then I have another one for inside okay this piece is cut at three and three fourths by 11 inches okay let me get the trimmer up here so I can do my scoring Alex is getting the yawns <laughs> I am <laughs> so I'm giggling okay so we're gonna score this one at five inches and then oops I gotta open it 10, oh, ten inches. Ooh, 10 inches. Okay. Remember, don't score too hard or you're te tear your cardstock. Yeah, you don't want to tear it because it's going to be opening a lot. You want to save the integrity yes. of the paper. Yes. Okay. So this one is going to get folded back. And then this one is going to get folded in. Is it like an accordion thing, kind of? Or kind not? of. I guess you could say that. Okay, so before I glue this down, I'm going to be stamping my sentiments. Okay. And let me just tell you, I'm changing to um, real red. My no. garden... No, I'm changing to cherry cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> my garden green needs to be re-inked. And I don't have a re-inker for it. So <gasps> guess what? No. no, it's a good thing. I get to place a new order. <laughs> I love it when I can place an order. It's fantastic. What happened? But my cherry cobbler works really well. What happened to what? Did you just run out? Well, you Where know, you? so your inks, just so you know, they do dry out. Mm -hmm. It happens. And so you just have to re-ink them from time to time plus we're coming in off the summer it's been hot <laughs> it's so hot <laughs> and so in my room they just dry out so i kind of put that a little whimsical so it's not even it's just kind of having fun and i did it wrong <laughs> okay good thing there's two sides to every paper right <laughs> It's a very good thing. Okay. Do you I need me to get you think, a piece of white? I think I may have to because, let's see. If we do it right, this. Okay, I got to look at it to let you know. Oh, no, I think I did it right. No, nope, I, I didn't. So. Okay, so. I think I can use this piece on this. Uh huh. And so my Merry Christmas will go here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I should have done that in the first place, right, y'all? Okay. Right. Our memories can't be trusted. Well, you know, it's been a day. And mistakes happen when you craft. Look, mm -hmm. my cherry cobbler is drying out too. So the darker the ink, just know the darker the ink, the quicker they dry out. Mm. At least in my experience. I so I know I did too. I just <laughs> I saw it. So okay, that's on the right spot. I really thought this would be better inked, but that's okay. Now we're gonna use the I believe. I should have checked it beforehand because I do have a reinker for this. 
that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna stamp the I believe. I believe, it's silly, but I believe. I love it. Okay, and then I have a little scrap for the inside. I'm just gonna lay down. I really do like this paper. <gasps> Isn't it pretty? I'm so glad. Ah, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Did it land on you? Mm -hmm. Okay, don't let it land on you. Yeah, we haven't had rain in I can't tell you how many days, but the mosquitoes are out. <laughs> we have mosquitoes. Okay, so sometimes if you need to, you can just trim that off. All right. I lost it. Okay. So now, let me get these right. Okay. So this one, you're just going to lay down as a layer, okay? So you just wanna go ahead, and I'm gonna use my Tombow glue. And from me flipping it back and forth, I kind of messed up my edge, but nobody will know. And the reason why I'm using Tombow glue is because it's just a tad bit forgiving and I might need to slide this around a little bit like that just to get it in the right spot. Okay, now I'm going to glue this one down. So when I glue this one down, you won't see my Merry Christmas anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go ahead and put the glue on. I love using my Tombow glue when I need to. All right, so this one, we're gonna just straighten these up so it's even, and then we're gonna rub it. We're gonna tell it we love it, no, okay. And there you have it, Ooh, okay? Ooh, that came out awesome. And so, when you open it, there you have your fun fold. Okay, yeah. so, Mo, use, good thing I got this eraser today, man. I'm messing up all over the place. <laughs> it's just a box under my table that fell, no big deal. We're all okay, trust me. Okay, look at that, beautiful. Okay, I love it, I love the bells. All right, so I'm gonna fold this now and I'm going to go back to using um, my snail. And I'm going to put, ooh, before I do that, I'm going to put this little piece on first, okay? And that way, if it hangs over, I can give it a trim. I think I might want it up a little bit higher, okay. All right, everyone. Nobody told us what their favorite saying was out of that stamp set. And if you're watching the replay, leave a comment, let us know. Absolutely. Okay, so I've got that done. Now I can glue this on. I'm content. Yay, I get to glue this on. <laughs> All right. I love the bells. I do too. Kind of makes me wish I would have gotten the stamp set with the bells now. To go with the paper. I still have time. You have to order the ink anyway. <laughs> I still have time. Okay, so we're gonna take another one of these label, celebration labels dies, and we're going to use it for our sentiment of every time you hear a bell ring, an angel gets its wings. I cannot wait this year to introduce these movies to Savannah. I think she's going to just love them. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I hope she's quite the Christmas movie watcher like her Nana is. She and her were choice. <laughs> <laughs> that way we can watch movies together all the time. One of the things I did do is I grabbed this gold twine mm. um, from the Forever Greenery set, okay? 
It's really pretty. And what I mean by the Forever Green reset is the it's a it's a set of ribbon that you get that has like this white cotton gauze. And then um, I'm gonna keep going. I know we're frozen. Sorry for the delays and and the freezing. But I'm gonna use one of these jingle bells and this tool that every crafter should have in their craft room. This is a flosser, okay? What I do with this flosser is I put my twine in there, okay? Can you see that? And then, no problem, it goes right through the hole. I use this so much. You get a package of like 10 or more. Whoops. And um, you only need one. Can you guys see that? Maybe if I lay it on this paper and lift it up. There, can you see that? That's what it is. And it's for dental floss. Okay, so I'm gonna tie a little bow on here. Now, one of the beautiful things that this twine does is it frays really easy after you get it done. So I'm just tying my knot and then a bow. Tying a bow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna straighten it out. Now, it doesn't stay tied very well. It kind of wants to come out. So you gotta be careful with it, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is get a glue dot right away. As soon as I'm happy, I don't wanna just leave it laying around. And then I'm gonna put this right on top and get those pieces. The glue dot's a little big, so you can just go ahead and 